Greetings. I see. Model geeks. I don't know why my voice went a little bit high then. It should be deep and low. What the hell? <laughs> so here we are in the shed. Once again. Once again. Now you keep going, oh, I went doing a bit of a video. <laughs> I mean, doing a bit of, I don't want to see videos about people. You know, and, and shit like that. I want to see build videos. So for that one person that wants to see a build video, I've probably chosen the worst build video item ever. Yeah. And here it is. It is a Dancing Wings Obby 1800 millimeter. Sorry, 800 millimeter. <laughs> it's not a big one. No, it's only a little one. Yeah, that's what she life. says. Yeah. Tiger Moth. Balsa ARF. Arf, 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 arf. Aircraft. Yeah. Uh, almost ready to fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Now, this one is for ages 14 plus. Now, we're a bit under that, aren't we, mate? Yeah. But, you know, we've got parental guidance. Yeah. So we'll be all right. Mm hmm It comes with a motor, an ESC, and the servos. All we've got to do is add a battery and the receiver. Mm-hmm. Comes with a seven-inch prop, a twenty-amp ESC, some servos that are uh, two point five to three point seven grams. So that sounds a bit like pot luck of what you got chucked in the box. Mm -hmm. And it needs a battery of a thirteen hundred to fifteen hundred two S. Flying weight four hundred and twenty grams. Uh, the fuse last length is six hundred ninety, and the wingspan is eight hundred. And it comes with a, a two thousand and fifty kV motor, a nineteen oh eight size. Should we open it up? Yeah. See how it comes. Open the box. These are extortionately priced. Um, yeah. So, uh, it better be the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh-huh. What, what? So, there's one box, and there's two boxes, right? Uh-huh. That it's what it all comes in right and it comes with a manual mm -hmm. now this manual they have learnt something the old uh, dancing wings obby it's much more like a uh, Japanese style uh, manual nowadays um, well nearly you know with like the old sort of happy picture and stuff like that um, uh, uh, guide use a knife that's to slash your wrist when it doesn't fly yeah um, Right, so that's the manual. Don't look difficult, does it? Look, it? Amazingly, they've actually got where the CG is. Awesome. Um, of course, that doesn't... Oh, that does. It's 70 mil back from the from the leading edge of the top wing. Mm-hmm. 70 mil. Hmm. It's got the aileron and, and uh, control surface movements, which they never used to put in their manuals either. So that's good, isn't it? Yeah. It starts waffling on about some special models will have V-tails and flaps and leading edge wings, etc. Uh, why they've got that in there, God only knows. Um, you know. Boom. And there you go. It shows you how to use it. Uh, up and down, left and right. Awesome. Never have known that. No. And a, a place for a note. Hmm. Right. Let's open up the boxes, shall we? <coughs> yes. What we got in this one? Right, this is the wings. I mean, I had looked at this before, right. um, but we got some decals. Oh, yeah. ESC. Uh huh. Cowling. I actually, uh, when they sent it, I asked them to send me two cowlings. Oh, excellent because I wanted to do something else with it after, but it's actually too small to do what I wanted to do, so anyway. Okay. Um, motor. Nice. Servos. Mm -hmm. X servo. I don't know what it was before. Um, mm. Propeller. Yeah, it looks like a uh, APC, but obviously it's not. Mm. Uh, seven five. You come with some struts. Uh huh. Comes with some thread and loads of screws because they like screws. Mm. And it comes with like some keepers and other things. Right? Here's a wing. Two of them in there. Mm -hmm. There's another two wings. 
and some more decals. Now, the early versions of this, they put um, transparent covering on the bottom of the wing, okay. which, which is a shame, really, because it made it look cack. Yeah. So they haven't done it on this one, which is good. Uh, there's your horizontal stab. Mm hmm. Right, that's all there is in that packet. Hmm. We need to make some room. Get rid of it. It's open gone. up the second one. Yeah. You think I've got a bit of an attitude today? <coughs> Slightly. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Right. Let's have a look at the second box. Undercarriage, nicely formed, with some like tubey bits for the uh, wing joiners or whatever. Mm hmm. Yeah, it looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah. Centre section of the top wing. Yep. On the full size, that would have been a fuel tank. Yes, that's true. Right. Fuselage. <coughs> oh, very nice. Very nice. I mean, I've got to say, you know, uh, the finish on this is brilliant, right? Hmm. It, you know, um, that's all I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, uh, what's that? It's uh, my craft. Yeah, that, that, that's when you crash in the sea and a little life, life raft pops out. That's it. Whatever that is. Um, and then the, the vertical fin is, uh, is here mm -hmm. with a little tail wheel on it. Now, how long do you think that is going to last before that breaks out? About five minutes. Mm, we'll have to see, won't we? Mm. Right, and that is it. Bye-bye, box. So this is their plane. Uh-huh. Alright. Uh, we're going to build it. Uh, we might even fly it today if it, if it doesn't rain. Yeah. And I'll charge the batteries up. Um, let's do it, eh? Yes. What do we need first? Same we need thing. the undercarriage, and we've got to screw it onto the fuselage. Yeah, remove the buckle from the M board. Yeah, uh, and fix the landing gear to the fuselage according to the picture on the right. Oh, the buckle from the M board, that's the plastic cutouts, what the buckles are in. <laughs> right, so let's, uh, let's open this up, shall we? Uh -huh. This is number 135. The blade. <laughs> no, I'm not ready to slash my wrist yet, mate. Okay, I'll do by now. Um, that'll probably come when we get to fly it. Yeah. Normally, I don't watch videos about the planes I'm going to build, because I don't want any preconceptions. Right. But I've seen quite a few videos of this flying, so crashing. All right. So, um, we'll see how bad it is. Okay. So, look at that. They made a fatal mistake here, right? When they've uh, when they designed this, uh, the stringers should sit higher than the formers. Yeah. Otherwise, you see the formers. And you can see the formers. Then you can see the formers, and it gives it a stupid shape. Hmm. Right. So here is a thingy, uh, a little hatch. All right. Um, do we need to remove that? I don't know, but we're going to anyway. Yeah, it's probably just to hold it in there, I guess. Maybe. Like I said, you know, it looks nice. Yeah, it does. Um, plywood and... Oh, hello. Oh, look, it's broken already. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not good, is it? No. It's... Uh, well, we can glue that back together. Uh, yeah. That ain't a problem. Mm. But I mean, it's, it's obviously something you've got to uh, watch out for, isn't it? Yeah. Whoever inspected one three five needs sacking. Uh, wasn't very good, were they? No. And uh, yeah, it was not tacked for, together very well. Well, no, it has been tacked together. I think that's the problem. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, how, how much more of it is like that that you can't now get to because it's covered? Mm. Uh, anyway, 
Right, so uh, let's put the undercarriage on, at least we can stand it up then, eh? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, and then we'll see if we can resolve some of these problems. We're doing well so far, mate. This is all a one take so far. It is indeed. Right. So those go at the back, that goes at the front. Alright. So that has got to go on there, like that. Right. Unfortunately, look, that doesn't really fit in there. It fits in that front one. But there's some like bits of crap and stuff. We could probably run a file through them just to give them a bit of clearance, yeah. Behind the file out. Um but that's gonna bolt on there with some uh, with some clamps. Mm-hmm. Um Oh look, that one's loose, and that one's not. Uh, right, I think we'll come back to you when we fucked around with this a bit. Okay. And uh, and, and sort of fixed it. We have followed the uh, instructions, and we have screwed the undercarriage on. Uh, the undercarriage doesn't actually fit very well in the grooves here. The back groove is a bit too narrow. Front ones want too bad. You filed them out, didn't you, mate? Yeah, okay. and it's still pretty shit. Yeah. Um, the the little clamps are just made out of some weird material. I'll say it's carbon, but I don't think it is. And uh, that one's already split in it when mm. we've done it up, <clears throat> so that that will break soon. Yeah. But we're going to do it anyway because, you know, people will just buy this and put it together, wouldn't they? Yeah. Not necessarily going to fix the problems. So let's see what the problems are. Mm. Um, right, and we also done the hatch, yeah? There's a little uh, flippy bit here that uh, hooks onto a, like, a screw there. As you can see, that screw... Oh, you, you, oh shit. It's on the floor, mate! Oh. Right, that, that screw, that nice spiky screw, sits well through there, yeah? And is that where the battery goes? Don't know. But if it is, it could puncture the battery, so we're going to chop that off. Yeah. And make it a bit smoother. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and obviously that sits in there, like that. But because how close they've got the uh, the screws to the hatch, right, you can't actually get the hatch in there without forcing it in, because the screws stick over the edge of the hole. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So you have to force it and graunch it in, and then, uh, you know, hook that round. Uh, you can see how fiddly this is. Yeah. Like that, yeah? That's your battery hatch. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's what it is. Yeah. Remember, this is 270 quid a plane. Is it? I think, I think so. Wow. Something like that. It's expensive. Um, yeah, so, um, right. Well, we'll get that filed off in a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> and then what we've got next thing we've got to do is we've got to glue the uh, horizontal stab on. We've got to cut a bit of material out there, and glue it onto the back of that there. There's also some self-tapping screws that hold it in, or is it just glued on, or is it not glued on? Hang on. No, epoxy glue. They're telling you here. Mhm. Mm epoxy and self-tapping screws. Now they also show you here to put the hinges in, but this horizontal stab is pre-hinged with covering. That's handy then. So you don't have to do that, uh, which is good. So we'll get on with that bit and then come back to you. And as you can hear, it's pissing down with rain now. So yeah. uh, we'll see how it goes. The fun continues. Oh yeah. So uh, we've obviously got to put the horizontal stab on there like that, right? Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there's a slot there and a slot there, which uh, basically the vertical fin mm -hmm. goes through like that, right? Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have to file that out a little bit because it was tight, right? Yeah. And then that obviously slots in there like that, yeah. Uh -huh. And that's how it goes together. Brill. Yeah. There's only one slight problem with this. When you come to put this together, see that cut out there? that um, basically clears the joiner of the two elevator halves well it's in the wrong fucking place right yeah yeah to go down you see look there's mm. no way that that is working right so uh, it wants to probably go down 
about a millimetre. Yeah, something's got to shift a millimetre down. Now you can either take it off there, mm -hmm. um, which is great, but then you know you're going to get sort of uh, it's just like covering issue, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, or you can take it off the bottom here. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it off of there because this has got to be glued to there anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, you're going to want to remove the covering. Yeah. To get a good glue joint, right? So we'll just take it off, take about a millimetre off there and off there. Mm -hmm. So that, that drops down, that brings that cut out into the right place. Um, as Clyde said, yeah, you could make that cut out bigger mm -hmm. but oh, you know what I mean yeah let's um, let's actually get it right mm -hmm. rather than uh, than just make the old bigger yeah <laughs> you know yeah uh, so that's what we've got to do next All right and then you uh, hinging you have got a slot this I don't feel any slots in here already All right you have got a slot this for hinging yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no pre pre. Oh, is that? Oh, I don't know. Is the might? Now there might be a slot there already. Yeah, but all it is is a knife slot, right? Um, oh, you know, it's going to look shite in it. Whatever happens, mm. um, unless you've got the proper tool for doing uh, hinge slotting. Aye. Uh, which I have somewhere, but pff, finding it is another thing. Yeah, so they've got a slot in there, that right? Yeah. Or just a gash, but I don't see it. Do you see? Uh, there might be one there, but that's right close to the hole, isn't it? Yeah. But you know, I mean, it's such thin wood. Um, <clears throat> you know, slotting it for inch is a right mare. Yeah. But something like looks like that's about like sixteenth. Something like that. And is that is it me or is that fucking pisters? Anything, it's bent, isn't it? Slightly. Mm. Now the other thing, right, is you've got to glue in uh, some some horns, right? This horn material is really fibrous. It's really strange. Hmm. Um, I was I was just having a quick um, file of it, and I can't find the file now. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, <coughs> right, it's really, really fibrous. It's just like can't you can't see it, but it's really soft and just like fibres. It's really strange stuff. So that'll probably break. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So let's um, oh, let's get on and fix this shit. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So we have chopped down the vertical fin. Chonk, chonk. Yeah, we've taken a bit off. You can see how much we've taken off, really. Hmm. Um, probably about that much there. Mm hmm. Right. Great. Done. Right. Sorted. Then on the uh, horizontal stab, you've got to, I would say, cut away, but you don't cut away um, the covering. Yeah. Yeah. So that obviously, when that sticks on there like that, you've got a wood to gl wood finish, mm. rather than a covering to cover and finish, mm -hmm. which is not strong. Um, great. While you do that, soldering iron. Yeah. Ruler. Shh, shh. Yeah. Run the soldering iron along the edge of the ruler. Da da da. It melts the covering. You can just peel it straight off. You don't damage the wood. If you try and cut that, you'll cut into the wood, weaken the surface yeah yeah and then it will just snap yeah right you also have to cut away the underneath we ain't done that yet because we're crap and i forgot about it mm. so we'll uh, do that now but the way you would do that right is because this all slots together like that right see that tongue that tongue's going to go in there so we'll just plonk that on there like that turn it upside down right and then you can just mark along there two lines yeah right and then uh, with a ruler and a soldering iron you're gonna go along that inside that line because mm -hmm. you don't want to see the bare wood do you no so once you've once you've marked a line 
see if it will show it up there. Oh yeah, we've got a line there. I can see two lines. All right. You can see there's one line there, one line there. We're going to put a, a ruler just inside that line. Go along with soldering iron. Go along with soldering iron. Peel that bit out. Glue it on. Hmm. Right, so we've run down here with a soldering iron. Boom, boom, boom. We've burnt through the covering. You can just get under that now. Oops. And peel it off. Hmm. Easy as that. Easy as that. So it means you haven't cut in uh, to the bolsa and weakened it. Mm. Okay, that's all you've got to do really. Um, so what we'll do next is we'll glue all that together there, like that. Yeah? Awesome. But what we're going to do first is we're going to glue the vertical fin on the horizontal stab. Yeah. And we've got our uh, block here. Mm -hmm. And obviously what we'll do is we'll just put that up against there like that, yeah, boom, 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 glue it. And then we've got that at 90 degrees, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I think they say here, the, mm, I'm not quite sure, uh, one part that they're saying is epoxy, we're going to use super glue for this. Yeah. Uh, there's no need for epoxy, it's such a narrow part. Yes. It'd be easier just to run super glue along that. Mm. So we'll super glue the vertical fin and epoxy the uh, horizontal stab assembly okay. onto the fuselage. Mm -hmm. Right, one other thing of note, and uh, me being a complete cunt uh, and ignoring when Colin said to me about it, uh, is that this little bit here will need to be cut away slightly as well. Because where we've dropped the uh, vertical fin down, uh, there is, uh, you know, it now doesn't sit fl flush. So we need to just cut a little bit away here, uh, just to drop that down. You can see there's a little bit of a gap under, yes, under there because of that. Yeah. So we'll have to uh, cut that away. So we just had another little thought before we put the horizontal stab permanently onto the fuselage. Uh, the easiest way to get it line up. Is, is you don't want to just glue it flat onto this rear section, yeah? Because you want to make sure that the horizontal stab lines up with the wings. That's your critical part, mm -hmm. yeah? Not that it sits flat on this back bit, but that it lines up with the wings. Yeah. So, <clears throat> put the wing on first, yeah? And then, when you come to glue, the horizontal stab on you can kite it up and line it up make sure it's level with the wing that's the critical thing yeah not that it's level with this platform here because the fuselage might be slightly pissed yeah or whatever yeah yeah uh, it's to put the wing on and glue it so that the whole thing is in line with the wing yeah we're getting there yeah and we've got a tail on Got a bit of white uh, super glue s smeg that that will come off. That's just where we sprayed some kicker on it. Uh, that's good. Right, so yeah, it's all hinged up. Well, the, the rudder's hinged. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, horizontal stabs glued in. Um, yeah, and the, uh, the horns are uh, in as well. Mm -hmm. There and there. Uh, mm. Yes, so that's all good. Um, it's coming together. Let's have a look at the, uh, the destructions. Now, in the destructions, they show a couple of self tapping screws going through the horizontal stab into the fuselage, but they're right where the, um, the vertical fin sits. You know, it's just going to be stupid. No, yeah. need, no, no need for them. We ain't put them in. Um, moving along. We've done that bit, we've done that bit, we've done that bit, we've done that bit. We're onto the wings. So we've got to put some servos into the wings mm -hmm. and glue two horns onto the ailerons. And also glue some like little inserts into the wings here and here uh, and there and there for the cabane struts. Mm -hmm. We're motoring along.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, we've done some um, on the top wings. We've done some mountings for the cabanes. Uh huh. Glued them in. Yeah. We'll clean them up after they got a bit of white schmoo on there. Um, bottom wing. Uh, put the horns in for the ailerons. Um, and also the mounting points again for the cabanes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean the hinges, these were already pre-glued. I mean they're pretty big gaps, but you know, it's what mm. it is. Um, yeah, we've done the same on the other wing. So that's the wings pretty much done, apart from putting the servos in. Uh-huh. Um, should we put the servos in next, eh? Yeah, why yeah, not? Let's do that. We've got the servos in the uh, the bottom wing. Now this this wire that they've supplied, push rod wire, it's like a fucking solder. You watch this, look. Yeah. Look at that. That's the strongest piano wire I've ever seen. Hey, it's shite. Uh, you know, for an expensive kit, comparatively speaking, uh, it's shite. <coughs> Sorry, it's shite. Yeah. Um, there you go. Anyway, they're done. We're going to leave it on there. Yeah. Um, but it's shite. Yeah. So, uh, what's next? Mag Collins is going to do the motor assembly. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm going to dick around with this uh, centre section assembly. Mm hmm. And, um, and we've also got to put the servos in the tail. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we'll uh, we'll see where we are. We're running out of time, so we're trying to motor on now. Not okay. so much uh, in depth, hey. Eh? But um, you know, we want to try and fly this, so we crash it today. Yeah. Yeah. We have not been idle. We have not been idle. <laughs> um, motor is in. ESC sort of bodged in there for now. Servos are in the tail. Blah blah blah. Bays on. Whatever. Um, so, um, next thing I suppose, Carl, is we'll put the wings on proper like. Mm -hmm. This centre section needs to be glued onto the cabanes. Yeah. Once everything's sort of lined up. Uh huh. Um, we're not going to be putting the rigging wires on it because uh, we want to fly the thing. Um, uh, and yeah. We're getting close, oh, don't we? Oh, Colin's put the uh, the batteries that we had for it had bloody Deans on there, the, yeah. the shittest connectors in the world. So we've put some XT60s on there. Uh, well done, mate. Blurry XT60, but uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. What is the time, Cole? <coughs> oh, it's that time already. Yeah. Oh, it's half past four. Yeah. So. Um, Yeah, that is good. So we'll probably get it done, won't we? Yeah, easy. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see. Right. Yes. <laughs> oh. And there she is. There she is. Um, it's not good. It's not, is it? Is it? No, it's not good, right? And I knew this already because I'd watched other people's videos. Mm. But I thought, oh, maybe they were idiots, but they're not. Mm. Um, so it's well tail heavy. Yeah. Right? I mean, you know, exceedingly tail heavy. Uh, for, cause bear in mind that this plane allegedly weighs 400 and something grams. Mm -hmm. Right? We've had to put in. 65 grams of lead which is basically right. half a pipe half a pipe <laughs> right to get it to balance yeah and that's when a battery right up in the nose yeah. under here yeah yeah um should we weigh this plane yeah let's weigh it because it's got the battery in it and everything right so technically ready to fly this is without the the right stuff Right, so it's 435, 440. Right. Right. 440, it's 500 grams. It's half a kilo, this plane. Um, mm -hmm. With that. Bloody hell. Um, what, do the, what, do the, what do the specs say on this? Oh. Uh, I think 
think they're only on the box, aren't they? Uh, not sure. Uh, hang on. Yeah, I mean, the CG, 70 mil back from the leading edge, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're pretty optimistic on this drawing, yeah? Mm. Because 70 mil is actually right back here. Mm. So even now they've shown it, it's fucking wrong. Yeah. Um, no way is that flying with a battery in that position, either. No, you've got no chance. The upfuck is really putting the bloody servos in the tail. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a mass load of weight at the back there. Got a long empennage, yeah, uh -huh. going back there, and a short nose, right? Yeah. Um, you just do not want to put fucking weight at the back. No. Yeah. Two to... fucking servos at the back. If those, if this was just push rods, yeah, and the servos were up here, right? You'd save like seventy grams, probably. Mm. Um, ridiculous. Mm. You know, and it's. It's a small plane, you know, it's a lot of weight. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it's, what's it, about a sixth? A sixth of the weight of the plane is uh, nose weight. Hmm. Ridiculous. Hmm. So, um, well, we're going to fly it, right? Yeah. But then I think maybe we'd, we'd, in the future, which is contemplate seeing if we could shift the servos forward, yeah. you know, into the fuselage and putting some small push rods on it. Yeah. Um, and it'll probably fly a hell of a lot better. Mm. But it's probably why most of the people who have flown these, it flies like shit, because it's too heavy. Yeah. It's got such a high wing loading, <laughs> you know, uh, it's pants. It's been crashing out the box. Yeah, what, crashing out the box? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so I'm going to temporar I'll temporarily fix the battery in the front. Uh, what I'll do is I'll temporarily fix this weight in the front as well. Yeah. And I'm just going to tape the cowling on for now. Yeah. I'm not going to um, permanently fix it. And then I think we'll just go and give it a bung and see if it turns to matchwood or not. Mm. Now, if it does turn to matchwood, it's going on the fire. Right. I think we'll video that as well. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I didn't get given this. I did actually pay for this as well. All right. Uh, okay, I paid less than what it's advertised for. Um, but that's not the point. Mm. Uh, um, you know, still paid a fair. I, I paid what I think it should be worth, not what they're selling it for. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. um, I think I paid about 130, something like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, anyway, so uh, we're going to bodge it together and then we're going to fly it, eh? Okay. It won't turn left. No, I've got full left. I've got full fucking right in. Oh. That's rudder only, right? It's, yeah. It's moving it. Right, that's aileron, left aileron, right? Here's right aileron. Oh, now it's fucking. I don't know, that's weird, man. Unless it's, the, it's just the wind and turbulence. But yeah. I had three. I had full right aileron. Yeah. And yeah. It's doing nothing.
I mean, it is quite turbulent. Mm. <laughs> they could have just got caught by turbulence and stuff, but yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, full stick in, and it was still going left. You know? Yeah. Ailerons are pretty ineffective when, when I mean I've got loads of ailerons, I've nearly got full right aileron stick in there. Yeah. Yeah? And it just ain't doing a lot, is it? No. Now I put a bit of yeah, we that was a bit of rudder and uh kicked it round nicely. The ailerons just don't really do anything. One way anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Looks nice in the air when she flies, but I can hmm. see why a lot of people have had problems with these. Yeah. Pretty ineffectual on the. Uh See that turbulence there? It's just kicked mm. it right down into the ground. Really, uh, really bumpy, aren't they? It'd be nice to try it on a calm evening. Yeah. Actually, get it down in one piece. Mm -hmm. Up with it. Weird, it's, it's fucking weird, man. Uh, yeah, I, I, I had full, wee, full right aider on then again. Mm -hmm. and nothing happened. <laughs> Very weird. Yeah. Gives with this plane. Oh, really? I'm on it. Ready for an awesome landing. <laughs> there she comes. Coming down. Oh yeah. <coughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> far away, it ain't broken. No. Uh, well. But yeah, fucking Aderons are weird, man. <laughs> but she's in one piece. Yeah, ready. ready to fly again. Yeah, ready to and fly I think, another day. I think if we can get the weight off it. Yeah. Yeah. Remove move those servos out of the tail. Yeah. Get them up in the front. Yeah. Where they should be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll save sixty plus grams. Yeah. Weight. Yeah. I think she'll fly sweet as a nut. Wow. Um. Yeah. Be a nice little evening poodle around. But I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. The conditions are a little bit shit, aren't they? It's quite yeah. turbulent here. Um, yeah, well, that the aileron thing was weird, man. Really weird. That's a bit of a scary takeoff. <laughs> I really thought we was lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. It flies. I mean, you know, we didn't finish it completely. We haven't put the decals on. Um, oh, they would have made a difference. Yeah, they would have probably made it fly all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, head of a lot of trim. Um, I had to put in. Which well, is almost those like ailerons aren't big look how enough. Much, look how much, look how much down is on that aileron. You see it? Oh yeah. Compared to that one. Yeah, that's that right. One. That's that's, that's yeah. what I had to, that's how I had to trim it. Blimey, what's going on there? No, there must be a twist in the wing or something. Something weird going on. So. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> is what it is, ain't what it ain't. But it ain't 200 plus quid's worth of plane. And I ain't buying one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, but, you know, with some tweakage, hopefully it'll be all right. Yeah. It'd be a shame to smash it up, because it is, you know, it's a nice little thing, but... Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, like I said, I can see why people have not had much joy with it. No. Because you know? by, by the time you've sorted it out, you're in the deck. Yeah. Yeah, if you can get over that first few minutes of like, you know, trimming it out, you'd probably be all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean that, this is a stupid idea. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, two small push rods in a bit of tube would have been brilliant. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Like, comment, subscribe, hate. Yeah. And <laughs> I we'll like see, that. We'll <laughs> see you all in the next <laughs> you're right there man Colin yeah. <laughs> so I can re yeah. and there are there are more videos to come there's, there's another video that we videoed isn't there yes um, that we haven't um, edited yet because other things have uh, got in the way see you all soon yeah bye bye it's bye for man Colin oh, yes it is bye bye oh, mate it's so long isn't it we're right out of bastard stop doing it on my ear <laughs> my bloody cat licks my ear at night it sticks its tongue right in there <laughs> That's all lovely. Can I borrow it? No. Oh. <laughs> See you all soon. Yeah, bye. Bye. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal. PayPal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.